Welcome everyone. Oh, geez, my knee. There's a blooper for you. We're not going to do the slide in. Not going to do that. Oh, welcome everyone. It is great to have you here. And from where I'm sitting, the sun is shining, birds are chirping, and Amazon trucks are delivering. So it's a good place to be. Speaking of a good place to be, if you clicked on this, it means that you are getting close to 65 years old. And that is also a good place to be. As you get closer to 65, you have some important decisions to make. One of those important topics that can cause some anxiety is Medicare. So we made this quick video to go over some decisions that you have to make leading up to 65. Now you may have heard that you are required to take Medicare at age 65, so let's tackle that first. Look, we live in America and you don't have to do anything. However, if you choose not to do some things, the government helps persuade you by imposing penalties. So there are five situations where you have to take Medicare at age 65 to avoid a penalty, one where you're automatically enrolled in Medicare, and two situations where you do not have to take Medicare at age 65 and you will not be penalized. So let's start with the five situations where you have to sign up for Medicare. If any of these five scenarios apply to you, when you become eligible for Medicare at age 65, you must enroll in Medicare or face penalties. So number one, you do not have any health insurance. Number two, you have COBRA as your health insurance. Number three, you're on an individual plan through the health insurance marketplace. Number four, you're on a retiree health plan. Or number five, you're on your work plan, but your company has fewer than 20 employees. Let's talk about that last one. You're covered by your company, but it has fewer than 20 employees. This gets a little bit tricky. If this is the case, what happens is that the insurance company that provides you and your employer with health insurance pays secondary to Medicare, meaning Medicare gets the bill first and your insurance company through work gets the bill after Medicare has already covered its part. Well, if you have a bill and the insurance company sees that you are eligible for Medicare, but you have not signed up for Medicare yet and you're working for a company with fewer than 20 employees, if that bill did not go to Medicare first, that insurance company can say, nope, we're not going to cover this and you are now responsible for that full medical bill. Not fun. If you're approaching 65 and working for a company with fewer than 20 employees, reach out to your agent or to us to discuss your situation. Now, the first scenario where you will automatically be enrolled in Medicare is if you are taking Social Security benefits before age 65. If that's the case, you are automatically enrolled in both Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. You can proactively reach out and stop Part B enrollment, but you will be enrolled in Part A. And this will become a very important detail here in a minute as it relates to health savings accounts or HSAs. Now, the reason that someone would want to hold off on Part B is because Part B comes with a monthly premium and you would have to pay that. And if you're already paying for and covered by your insurance through your company plan, you can delay Part B to save some money every month. And that leads us nicely into the two scenarios where you may turn down Medicare at age 65, not enroll, and you won't have any penalties. The first is if you're currently working for a company with 20 or more employees and you're covered by group health insurance. You do not have to sign up for Medicare and you will not have any penalties. The second situation would be if your spouse is currently working for a company with 20 or more employees and you're covered by your spouse's group health insurance plan through work. You do not have to take Medicare and you will not have any penalties. Make sense? Now, even if you and or your spouse are working and covered by group health insurance through work, it may still make sense to consider Medicare depending on how much you're currently paying for your health insurance through work. You can sign up for Medicare if it'll cost you less and the benefits are more rich than your current work coverage, and you can continue to keep working. It happens all the time. In fact, we have a whole video right over here, uh, as well as a nifty little quiz in the description that will give you an idea of what may make more sense for you. One big variable in this decision is that health savings account or HSA. If you sign up for any part of Medicare, whether that is A only or both A and B, neither you nor your employer can contribute to your HSA anymore. Remember how we mentioned that this would be an important topic later? Well, here we are in that situation from earlier where you're automatically enrolled in Medicare because you were taking social security benefits before age 65, you and your employer have to stop HSA contributions when you turn 65, even if you just have part A. For some people, their employer contributes a lot of money to their HSA, and it is important for them to max out their HSA for taxes and other reasons. So this is an important topic for a lot of you watching. 
if you do not have an HSA and would like to keep working, a lot of people choose to sign up for Medicare Part A only since it doesn't cost anything for most people, and then they continue working and they stay on their work insurance plan. Those are the first major decisions you need to consider as you're approaching your 65th birthday. Once you decide that you are going to sign up for Medicare, there are a whole lot of other important decisions coming your way like Medicare Advantage versus Medicare Supplement and many others. So as you're approaching your 65th birthday, remember this video and remember the name of our channel, 90 Days From Retirement, because the best time to start the Medicare process is 90 days before you need Medicare to begin. That's super important because you're working with a huge government agency. Things take time. So make sure you get started well in advance, 90 days before you need Medicare. If you have any questions or would like to know what would make more sense based on your specific situation, reach out to your agent, or if you don't currently have an agent for Medicare, reach out to us at 90daysforretirement.com and we'd be happy to discuss. Now, if you found this video to be helpful, there are two cute little buttons down here. The like button and the subscribe button. Would you give those a click? YouTube uses things like likes and comments to show this video to more people who would benefit from this information. So pushing that thumbs up button and leaving a comment like, hey, nice microphone, or a comment with any questions that you may have is super helpful. And finally, once you have subscribed to this channel, next to the subscribed button is a bell icon. You can click that one if you'd like to get notified when we post a new video that will make you more knowledgeable about Medicare, Social Security, long-term care, and estate planning. That about does it for this one. I appreciate you spending some time with me, and thank you for watching. Yeah.